a message to comfort anyone out there um death is a form of healing i pray that god gives us grace to just accept the the new norm because this is a different norm and the, hi guys welcome back to our hi, channel guys, today is an exciting day it's sunday and we just came from our great grandfather right right so what so since it's sunday and sunday, sunday we tell stories bobo how was your day a much fun i played with the boys you played with the boys Oh, who did you meet? Um, my, um, I my great grandfather. You're sad. Mm. Why are you sad? Because, because you will not see him again. Mm -hmm. How do people go to heaven? They die, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. God collects them, mm -hmm. and then makes them to a mm -hmm. and, then and then takes them where? That God collects them and then? And then he, he leads into their angels. Oh, and then he gives them wings mm. to fly into heaven. Mm. Do you think your great-grandfather will be born in heaven? Mm. They'll have much fun. They'll have a lot of fun. What do they do in heaven? Mammy. They dance. We are listening. Mammy, they, they drink tea. They dance, they drink tea. Uh -huh. What else? They eat some cream. Uh -huh. Have much fun. Uh -huh. Why? Now he now he doesn't have any pain. No. Yeah. When you go to heaven, your body becomes healed. Ah, so he wasn't sick. Is your great grandfather? Yeah. Yeah. Where where has he gone to? To heaven. To heaven. To do what? To go give her a bandage. Then I put. Dettol. Oh, God will give him a bandage and then you put that on. Yes. So, but in heaven, there is no sadness. People just have fun. And my grandma has wings. Yeah, even your grandma has wings. Because even your grandma is in heaven. When someone is sick, you know, when we pray for them, we pray that, what, what do we pray that God does? For him to be healed. So we used to pray that God heals him. Oh, you yeah, remember? yes. Yes, we used to pray that God heals him. God doesn't give him pain. Um, God takes care of him, reduces all his pain. But I think what I have learned mm -hmm. through my, your, my grandfather and through my mother, that is my um, Baba's, Baba's mother, who is Shoshonya Kenya? I learned that sometimes when we pray, even for anyone at home who has someone who is very sick, <laughs> so, even at home for someone who has someone who is sick, sometimes, not sometimes, death is also healing. Because remember in heaven, people don't suffer. So like the wound he had, he doesn't have that wound in heaven. Imagine he's just happy, he's drinking tea, he's not even having any pain, he is dancing, he's having fun. Hasn't God healed him? Mm. Yeah, so God has healed him by taking him to heaven. And even for, for, for Shoshonya Kenya, who was also unwell, as in, in heaven now, she is he, just, in he heaven was, now. He was hurt where? Shoshonya Kenya. Mm. Her, her stomach. Yeah. So yeah, it was painful. Yeah, your grandma. So he, now she doesn't have any pain. She is just dancing, and you know the way she used to dance. So she danced and Eh, like that. She used to really dance. So now in heaven, she is just dancing. She has no pain. She's just happy. And then you know the good thing. She is now an angel to everybody. So she can come, look at us. She can go and look at other people. Even our great-grandfather. Now he is an angel. He will... Everybody knows our great-grandfather. No, his family now. Everybody has their angels. Because everybody has someone in heaven. So even if we have loved ones, when we pray for healing, it is good to, to understand that God can bring healing in terms of death. 
and I know death is very painful for us who have been left but when you are prepared the Bible says that you shall not die but you shall live forever as long as you have God you shall live forever so even for us here who ha who have maybe lost our loved ones who have been left here the question is do we know God do we have a relationship with God are we ready for our permanent home because at the end of the day this is not our permanent home we are just on a road going somewhere else so um Fever, what have you learned about the journey? Maybe as in how how is it for you? Sad. Sad. Why are you sad? Because uh -huh. I miss my great grandfather. Uh -huh. What did, what did you learn from? What or how what do you miss him for? Um that he was to make leave us come company. Uh -huh. And what did you and learn then from I him? Didn't want him to go to heaven. Why? And remember, all of us, you know, he's just gone before us. When us we will be going to heaven, he'll be at the heaven's gates. He'll be saying, Oh my babies, you have come. I have been waiting for you. And imagine they'll be there with Shoshu Nyakenyo. So Shoshu Nyakenyo will be there dancing. Oh, saying, ah very welcome, welcome, welcome. Because you know. When us are going to heaven, yes, we are Kenya and our great grandfather is still gonna be there. Yes, and they'll be there. You know, in heaven, you don't age, you don't become old, you stay the same. So we'll just find them there dancing, having fun. And then, uh -huh. we are in the cloud, uh -huh. he sings us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then he'll come and hold your hand. When you're here on earth, you're preparing for heaven because you're you're being, you're you're taking care of your relationship with God and making sure you live a life that is right with God. And that is what God wants us to do. Even for us who have been left and others have gone to heaven, always have a very good relationship with God so that in case tomorrow is your day your day and you die. There is no question you're going to heaven. I think um, there are so many things I learned from my grandfather. But I think what I learned about him is humility, kindness, and ministry. He really worked so hard to open so many PCA churches in Nyandarwa. And he did a very, very wonderful job. And I pray that, and yeah, my prayer is that even this channel that we are producing, I really know it's because of how he brought us up. He brought us up in the ways of God. He brought us up in church. He made sure that we had a relationship with God and we always worked towards our relationship with God. And I remember talking about the things I think I took up from my grandfather. My grand, sorry, my grandfather was those people who, if you did a mistake, he would tell you as it is. And he would not, you know, the way someone would use, like the way maybe my dad would use my mom and tell her, tell Shiro not to do this. No, my grandfather would call you aside and tell you, Shiro, you should not do this. You should do this. So I remembered, I am also those people who tell things as it is. I have lost so many friends through it. But I think I took it from him because I think I am that because person who me. if you do a mistake or you do something that is wrong, I will tell you as it is. I will not beat around the bush and I'll not, I'll not go talking behind your back. I will actually tell you as it is. So today as we went for prayers, I really thought about what I've picked from him. And I feel so blessed to have, have known him, to have, grew, to have been brought up by his, his, by him as in, I have learned so much. I have learned unity. I have learned equality because my grandfather was he he was he made sure we all felt very equal. He never saw someone higher than the other. And I think those are the things that really God wants us to do. God wants us to learn. And I hope that um we'll continue doing so much for even our children and our grandchildren our great grandchildren and that god gives us many years he was 91 years that is really a big blessing Can that's, that's a long life yeah he was about to be a hundred imagine he had nine years to get to a hundred you who might be at home fast with a loved one who is unwell i pray that they get healed but I pray that we will get to that point where we 
we we we we learn that that death is a form of healing because in death they will not suffer in death they will at, be at peace in death they will live they'll continue living in their permanent home because this is our temporary home and that even if like us who have lost even if you are you're bereaved i pray that all the traits that our loved ones have instilled in us will continue shining through us and that the angel they have become they will look down upon us and be very proud of the 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 of what we have actually learned from them of the people we have become and i think that was our highlight for today where we we went to celebrate a life a life that was well lived a life that had made an impact not only to his family but to his to the people to the community and that is what we are all here for then the question is what you what will you be remembered for and what is your relation how is your relationship with god i think that is the most important thing how is your relationship with god and are you ready and even as you wait upon him wait upon him serving that is actually what the message you are given today even as you're in this earth be on this earth serving doing your best doing god's will doing god, living your passion all for the glory of god uh, so that's it for today have a blessed week and see you again tomorrow for another day another lesson and another and life changed please remember to subscribe and to ring the bell thank you see you then thumbs up